To access the website, click on the link under the video description. Then you will need to sign in with your Google account. If you scroll over here, you can see these are other videos that people have already generated using this website. The sweet part is that you can now generate up to 30 minute AI video with just a single video idea. So I'm going to show you how to do all this using this website. Let's take a look at what we are about to create in this video. Surrounded by an unsettling quiet, the only sound is the static from the radio. As he desperately tries to find a clear signal, a faint whisper pierces the static, startling Nathan. A voice from the radio whispers, look beneath the floor, in the storage room. The whisper repeats, more urgently. Unease etched on his face, he stands. Nathan steps into the storage room, instantly aware of an unsettling disturbance. He kneels, his fingers tracing the outline of disturbed floorboards. He pries open the floorboards, revealing a small, rusted metal box hidden beneath. His hands tremble as he slowly opens the box, bracing himself for what lies inside. In the dim storage room, Nathan discovers a letter hidden within the box. The chilling revelation sinks in. A woman was buried beneath the very floor he stands on. A cold shiver courses through him. So I'm using my phone so that most of you will be able to follow up because I observe that most of you are using your phone. You can also use your laptop to access this website. From here, we have two options available for you to use. We have AI video, then we have AI character, meaning you can design your own AI character. Then after that, you make use of your AI character to create your AI video. I'm going to show you the first option before we talk about the second option. From here, if you want to design your AI character, click on AI character. From here, you need to enter, select either a male or a female. Then you select the category, you select the age. Then here you select your style. Then here you enter your character prompt. If you have a face you want your character to take, then you can upload a face here, or you can upload the clues that you want to give to your character. After that, you come down here and tap on create. So from here, let's just select me. Then we are going to select um, the category. We are going to select human. Then from here, the young adult. Let's just select young adult. Then here we'll select the style. So for this style, I want to select Disney style, which is it. If you scroll like this, you can see there are different other styles that you can select from. Then after that, I'll come down here. I'll just enter my character prompt. So here they have already done something good for you. You can select hair, skin, clothing, hair color, accessories, body type from here. So if I select hair, I can enter the type of hair I want my character to have. So I've already done that using ChatGPT. So I'm going to enter what I want my character to have. So after entering that, come down here and click on create. After some few seconds, we have our character ready. This is the character we have just created. If you are not satisfied, I want to modify this character. You can go ahead to click on back to modify, then modify the character, add some other things you need to add again. But if you are satisfied with your character, then you go ahead and tap on next. From here, I can go ahead to tap on publish to publish my character first before you publish your character you need to enter the name of your character so for example i want to call my character jack so after entering the name you tap on publish and now i have my character ready let's go ahead to generate our ai video using our character to generate your ai video come here and tap on ai video when you tap on this ai video there are different options available to you here this first option is called smart script. If you use the smart script, the AI is going to generate a script for you. Then we have basic script that you can also use. So if I tap on smart script, I can enter here, then enter my full script that I want to use for uh, my video. Then if I tap on basic script, you can see we already have a script here available here. You can um, erase the script that is available here and enter your own script. Any of these is accessible for you. So for this, let me just enter a normal script here. After entering your script, you need to come down and select the aspect ratio you want to use either landscape or you can use portrait aspect ratio. So for this video, let me make use of landscape aspect ratio, which is for YouTube videos. Then here you select your video duration. Remember I told you, you can generate up to 30 minute video using this website. Now, if you scroll to your right, you can see we have up to 20 to 30 minute video, 10 to 20 minute video, but those particular set of video are for pro users. So for you using the free version, you can only generate one minute video. So I'll select one minute video, 
then i'll come down you select your video language so for the video language let's go with english then style we are going to select disney style which is this type then after that tap on next so after some few minutes you are going to see analysis of your script like this so this is it you can just go through it and take a look at it so from here you are going to come down here and tap on next so here it's time for you to add your character so if you want to use the character which you, we generated from the beginning of this video then you need to come down here tap on edit character because the ai recognized one character which is uh, nathan so we are going to edit that character so tap on that place then from here we are going to select our character so here you can select any character from this website but if you want to use your character from the beginning of the video then you can tap on my curation to select that character so I'll tap on my curation so this is the character which i created i'm going to select that so we need to change our voiceover select the voiceover we want to use for this video so tap on here where you see team which is the voiceover so um, you want, can listen to how the voiceover sounds like by clicking on this play button. Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So Life was like a if you like that voiceover, simply tap on OK. But if you want to choose other voiceover, you can scroll down, look for other voiceover on this website and then select that. So now that the voiceover is selected, come down and tap on OK. So here we have our character then you need to come down here and tap on next step from here the ai is going to generate your images generating your scene everything and then we are going to do some more editing to our story to fine tune our video so you can see we have our video this is it um you can see this is a video so if you come down here you can see that this is the first scene second scene third scene so if you tap on the second scene, you can see what the character is doing. So you can see that it's using the same character, that particular character that we generated from the beginning of this video. You can see the faces are consistent. Everything is the same the, from the clothing and everything is the same. Now, another thing you can add is to add a dynamic. You can add dynamic feature to these um, images meaning you can animate these images to do that you will see dynamic over here just tap on it to enable it so here they are going to ask you this to animate so if you want to animate one you can use um, the first option here animate one if you want to animate or just tap on animate or and select or then come down here and tap on next so they will ask you to select the ai you want to use to animate this so animate pro runway or hello ai so if you want to use any of these you can select this but you must be on the pro version to use this animation option so that is that for the dynamic meaning you can add animation to your each of your images so from here if you are satisfied and you want to go ahead then come up here where you see next tap on next so this is the feature i'm talking about this is the static and this is the dynamic you can see from the dynamic here is animating each of the images so tap on next so from here you need to add your cover for this cover i want to you can select through your images to pick what you want to use as your cover so if i go like this i can select what i want to use as my cover so what you use as your cover is a part that is very interesting in your video you can remove no title over our screen or you can add any title from the downside here then from here we need to add subtitles so tap on subtitle so you can select any of these subtitle options so for example let's just pick um, one of these subtitles so this then you can add music to it background music so tap on music so if i select background music you can play any of this background music to see what suits your video so let's say we we'll select that so now background music is selected then you need to go ahead and tap on generate so here the video ratio you select that so we are using 16 by 9 i'll tap on ok and then your video is going to start generating and then here is your video after generating you can tap on this play option in the dimly lit security office nathan sits alone if you are satisfied then you can go ahead and tap on download video to download your video if you haven't watched my video where i talk about how to generate powerful prayer videos then go and watch this particular video It's going to explain in detail how you can generate bible prayer videos for your channel thank you guys for watching do well to like this video and subscribe to this channel